Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I can discuss about how to configure remote span. So in previous session, we can discuss discussed about local span. So remote span means so in local span same switch itself I will connect at one system and I will monitor the traffic. Remote span means so we can connect that system to another switch. From that switch we can monitor this server. So in this example scenario I can use 200 200 200 at 0 slash 24 network. So server I will assign IP as 10 and system I will assign the IP address as 20. So now I am going to monitor incoming and outgoing traffic of this server. So in switch here I can use two switch 2960 model switch. So in switch fast ethernet 0 slash 1 port can be connected to server. So I want to track the incoming and outgoing traffic of this port. Then I will capture the traffic and I will send to this switch. In this switch I will receive the traffic from sniffer. So sniffer is used for packet capturing. Ok let's we can configure the remote span. So before configuring remote span this switch to switch this port should be a trunk port. So I will create one additional VLAN, special VLAN that is named called remote span. So using that VLAN, the capture traffic will be going through that VLAN and we can receive it. It's not like a data VLAN. Okay, let's we can see. Okay, in global mode, I will create one VLAN, VLAN called as an 50. And this VLAN I will assign as a remote span is a special VLAN only carry the capture traffic and send to the neighboring switch. Okay, exit. And next I will create the remote span. So the syntax for creating remote span is monitor session. So here 1 to 66 session it will be supported. In last session we are using 3560 model switch. In that switch it will supports only two session. So here I am using 2960 model switch. So it will support 66 sessions. 1 to 66 session. So I will create session 1. Next source. So which port I am going to monitor. So fast ethernet 0 slash 1 interface I am going to monitor. So here I will give interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. Next by default it will capture both incoming and outgoing traffic. So otherwise if you want incoming means you have to give Rx or Tx. So I will give both. By default it should be supported both. Ok. Now I am captured the fast ethernet 0 slash 1 incoming and outgoing traffic. Next where I can send the traffic. So I will send to neighboring switch. So neighboring switch I want to send the traffic means with the help of remote span VLAN only I will send the traffic. So here we have to mention monitor session 1. Next destination remote VLAN. So destination so we can send to remote span VLAN 50. So I will give 50 then we have to give the reflected port. So reflected port we here we have to give it because the switch normally functioning based on the hardware that is ASCII based only the switch will be functioning that is application specific integrated circuit. So whatever the traffic incoming and outgoing traffic we can capture it will send to remote switch means definitely we can use one of its switch port resources then only it, the capture traffic will be sent to the neighboring switch. It, it, because the switch is functioning on hardware based. So we have to provide one switch port resources. So here I will give reflector port as an 10. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 10. So here reflector port fast ethernet 0 slash 10 means the fast ethernet 0 slash 10 port the hardware resources can be utilized, utilized to send the capture traffic to neighboring switch. So if we are not mentioning reflector port means it won't work. So without hardware support it won't work. So we have to allocate one switch port hardware resources to this 
session remote span okay now in this switch the configuration is everything is over next we can go to this switch and here also we can create this same VLAN and that called as a remote span so VLAN 50 and it will create as a remote span okay exit next here we can get monitor session 1 source so where we can get that capture traffic sources remote span remote span only we can getting that so remote span VLAN 50 enter so here so in this switch we can capture the traffic from source which source that is remote span VLAN 50 so in this trunk port through the VLAN 50 only we can capture traffic will be sent to this switch so here we have to mention monitor session 1 and source is remote VLAN 50 that is remote span VLAN 50 next monitor session 1 destination and here where I can send that captured traffic so I am receiving through remote span VLAN 50 and it will send to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 0 slash 2 only I will connect a sniffer so here I will mention interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 enter ok so that's it configuration so we have to mention the trunk port also so by default it should be not in trunk port so switch to switch you have to mention the trunk port then only it will allows the VLAN so here I will mention the trunk port interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 switch port mode trunk ok so here also I will mention the trunk port just go to the global mode interface fast ethernet 0 slash 3 and I will give switch port mode trunk ok so if you are giving trunk port means it automatically allow the VLAN 50 so remote VLAN 50 it will be allowed ok ok let's we can check it show interface trunk exit show interface trunk ok so now here you can see so the VLAN, VLAN allowed is by default trunk port means all the VLAN should be allowed ok you have to check it here also show interface trunk Okay, actually here the port is fast ethernet 0 slash 1. So I will mention fast ethernet 0 slash 3 port is and switch port trunk. I will give it wrongly. So just go to global mode and again you have to give fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch port mode trunk. Okay, so now that fast ethernet 0 slash 1 port is and trunk port. Here you can check it show interface trunk. Okay now we can get it ok let's we can put it into simulation mode so in simulation mode I will just capture the R packet and ICMP packet remaining packet I will give filter so just I will check it R and ICMP packet so now I will just from PC 0 to server I can ping it so that time R packet and ICMP packet will be travels so that packet should be captured from this switch to this switch and it will send to the sniffer ok let's we can check it just go to the system and I will ping server IP server IP is 20 sorry 200 dot 200 dot 200 dot 10 enter so now the R packet will be generated and it will send to the switch so from that switch one copy will be taken to the switch and it will send to the sniffer here we can see the sniffer will capture that packet see it's captured next 
the ARP replay packet will send to the PC0, that packet will send to the switch, the switch will, it will send to the sniffer. Here we can see sniffer. So the sniffer will capture that packet. Okay, next ICMP packet. So ICMP packet it will send. So whatever the traffic that fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 will receive incoming and outgoing packet, exact packet can copy one packet and it will send to the sniffer. So we can easily monitor that server, what are the requests will be coming, what are the replay it will send to that request and everything we have to monitor. So for security reasons we can use remote span. So remote span means from one switch to another switch we can track that server. So that's called remote span. If it's local span means within a switch itself we can connect one system and we can monitor that server. Okay here we can see the same packet is capturing. Okay, again next packet will send to the switch, the switch will send exact copy to the switch and the switch to sniffer, sniffer will capture that packet. Okay, so now I will go to the normal mode, so just go to the PC and I will get the replay. Now we can go to the sniffer and we have to check it exact or packet and ICMP packet captured, everything we have to check it. So just click that ICMP packet, here we can see sources. 200-200-220 is a system IP and 200-200-210 is a server IP so we can capture what the traffic will be going and from that server everything we can track it ok so for security reason we can use the remote span ok friends thank you for watching my videos if subscribe my channel for further updates and share to your friends